Anne Heche has remained in critical condition since crashing her vehicle into a Los Angeles residence on Friday, according to a new representative for the actress. Over the weekend a representative stated that Anne was in stable condition but that information was inaccurate. She has always remained in critical condition, slipping into a coma following the accident, a spokesperson for Heche told CNN in a statement Monday. She has a significant pulmonary injury requiring mechanical ventilation and burns that require surgical intervention. She is currently being treated at the Grossman Burn Center. Earlier Monday, CNN reported that Heche is under investigation for misdemeanor DUI and hit and run, according to LAPD officer Annie Hernandez. Investigators obtained a warrant for a blood draw on the day of the incident. They are still awaiting those results, Hernandez said. Once the investigation is complete, the case will be referred to the LA City Attorney's Office, Hernandez added. Hesha's representative told CNN she has not been able to meet with investigators yet as a result of her injuries. Meantime, friends of the woman whose home was destroyed in the crash say she narrowly escaped physical harm. Lynn Miss Hell was inside her residence where Heish crashed and fire broke out, officials told CNN. Neighbors John and Jennifer Durant have started a GoFundMe for Miss Hell to help her rebuild her life. In the description for the fundraiser, the Durans state that Miss Hell lost everything, except for a few damaged sentimental belongings. Lynn lives with her beautiful pups Bree and Ruaban, and Tortoise Marley in the Marvista home that was destroyed this week by a car driving into the home at a H. Lynn and her family very narrowly escaped physical harm, and for that we are very, very grateful. The home, however, was completely burned. Roy Morgan, another neighbor of Miss Hell, told CNN affiliate KCAL slash KCBS that Hesha's car stopped about two feet away from where she was sitting. She was pretty lucky, Morgan said of Miss Hell. She's in shock. It still hasn't hit her yet. There's nothing left in the house. Everything was ruined. Lynn lost her entire lifetime of possessions, mementos, all equipment for her business, the GoFundMe states.